Yeah, hi everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, uh, we can wait for one or two minutes uh, for us to join, okay? So meanwhile, if you have any queries, please let me know. In today's class, we are going to discuss about ITSM part. In ITSM, we are going to discuss about incident management. Okay. So basically, this ITSM is completely theory part. Uh, so it may take five days time to complete uh, this complete ITSM functionality. Okay. You can come. So ITSM stands for Information Technology Service Management. ITSM stands for Information Technology Service Management. ITSM will follow the ITIL guidelines. ITSM will follow the ITIL guidelines. ITIL stands for Information Technology Infrastructure Library. Information Technology Infrastructure Library. Okay, ITSM refers to all managerial aspects of businesses, including models of IT planning, support, delivery, security, and infrastructure. Okay, ITSM stands for Information Technology Service Management. ITSM will follow the ITIL guidelines. So, basically, I hope everybody is aware of ISO standards okay so like that so we have itil standards okay so we are taking itsm part from the itil guidelines okay so itil stands for information technology infrastructure library in itil so we have procedures and functionalities uh, for every organization for every industry type and for every domain okay based upon all industry types based upon all domains so we have created itil guidelines okay we, we, in itsm we are following the itil guidelines okay so basically itsm refers to all managerial aspects of businesses including models of it planning support delivery security and infrastructure okay so itsm includes the itsm involving in the planning support delivery security and infrastructure okay and infrastructure in all these areas itsm is involving so this is the itsm definition we can say Okay, this is in interviews they will ask what is ITSM. ITSM stands for Information Technology Service Management. ITSM refers to all managerial aspects of the businesses, including IT planning, support, delivery, security, and infrastructure. Okay, this is ITSM definition. So here, so we have an image ITSM in service now. 
So what are the modules in IT system? You can say service catalog and request fulfillment, incident management, knowledge management, problem management, configuration management, change management. Okay, these are the uh, modules in the ITS. Okay, incident, problem, change, knowledge, uh, request fulfillment, configuration management. Okay, so within our organization, if they want to do something with the ITSM, uh, they will communicate to the service desk or they will directly create a records. They will directly create a records or they will communicate to the service desk and service desk will create the records. Okay, yes, this is ITSM picture. You can scroll down. Who are the persons involving in ITSM? Who all are the persons involving in ITSM? Okay. End user, agent or fulfiller, process manager, process owner, service owner. These are the persons involving in the ITSM, pro ITSM process. Okay. These are the persons involving in the ITSM process. So end users, agent or fulfiller, Process manager, process owner, service owner. So who is end user? Who is end user? So user, end user, user service now to make request, view status of request and access the knowledge base. Okay. I can say end users are the, the persons who the persons who working for the company. Okay. Uh, in if you take any organization. So most of the users are the end users 90 percent of users are the end users and they will just if they want something they will raise a request they want to see the information they will access the knowledge bases okay they will access the knowledge bases and if they submitted any request it may be laptop request it may be service request they will see the status of that request okay agent for example we have for example, I have ordered one laptop in Flipkart website. Flipkart website. So I am a end user. I am a end user. Okay. Once we submitted order within the Flipkart, so next step will taken care by the agent or fulfiller. Who are the agent and fulfillers? Whoever delivering the our products or services to us. Okay, whoever delivering the services to the end user. Okay, so you can see agent or fulfiller users ITSM applications to create and resolve tasks, provide support to end users, provide support to end users. So maybe you, you, we have one issue. Okay, we have an issue. Maybe I have purchased one electrical rice cooker. Okay, and like when I tried. Uh, when I tried using that electrical rice cooker, it is not working. It is not working fine. So immediately, what I will do? I will call to the customer care, and that customer care person will come to our location, and he will try to repair that electrical rice cooker. So whoever repairing, uh, whoever providing support to us, those are the agents or fulfillers. So yes, if we order some item in Flipkart. Somebody is coming to our home and delivering the product. That person is the agent or fulfiller. Okay. Next. Process owner. Process owner. Process manager. Service owner. I can say these three persons work will take care by only one person in real time. Mostly. Okay. So what is the responsibilities of process manager? Responsible for the um, Operational management of the process. Operational management of the process. Okay. So he will take care of overall process, overall operational management of the process. Like uh, he will take care of the entire life cycle of that process. Process owner responsible for the definition and health of the process. Process owner will take care of the uh, configurations and is there any issues with the current process? Okay. He will take care of these kind of things. Service owner responsible for managing one or more service through services through their life cycle. Yeah. 
Hisalto will take care of uh, entire process life cycle. Okay, these are the persons in, involving in the ITSM. So if you have any queries, please let me know here. From ITSM persons or uh, it may uh, from definitions, please let me know. Yeah, um, I have, can you please uh, repeat um, what process manager and process owner? Okay. Basically, in, in real time, so process manager, service owner, process owner responsibilities will take care by one person, that is manager, okay? That is manager. And process manager will take care of the operational management of the process. He will take care of operations. Okay. He will take care of operations. Uh, it's kind of uh, like how many tickets are creating, how many tickets are resolving, how many requests are creating, uh, how many uh, products are delivering, how many services are delivering. Okay. This kind of things will be take care by the process manager. Got it? Completely, he will take care of operational. Got it? Hello? Yes, got it. Okay. And process owner, so he will take care of the configurations and uh, any issues within the process. He will take care of that. Uh, any issues identified or any new functionalities if we want to add to the existing process. The process owner will take care. Okay. And service owner will take care of responsibility of all services, all incidents throughout their life cycle. He will take care of all the life cycle of that particular process. Okay. Got it. Got it. Okay. Next, what are the roles involving in ITS? What are the roles involving in ITS? So you can see ITIL, ITL admin, instant manager, change manager, knowledge, knowledge admin, knowledge manager, catalog, catalog admin, catalog editor, catalog manager, ECMDB admin, ECMDB admin. Okay, these are the roles involving in the ITSM process. And from these roles, most important roles are this ITIL. Most important role is this ITIL. Then after ITIL admin. Okay, so in organizations, uh, like whoever, who are the agents or who are the fulfillers. For example, even for service now, developers also will provide ITIL role along with the admin. Okay, based upon the situation okay itl and itl admin roles are very very important one got it next itil role itil role so you can see what itl role itil role will do ITIL role can perform standard actions for the ITIL help desk technician. This is the out of box technician role can open, update, close incidents, problems, changes, configuration management items. Okay. So basically, I, whoever having the ITIL role, they are able to create, resolve, close the incidents. Okay. Clo create close and update the problems, changes and configuration management files. 
out of box only users with the ITL role can have tasks assigned to them. Okay. ITIL role can perform standard actions for an ITIL help desk technician. This is the out of box technician role can open, update, close incidents, problems, changes and configuration management items. Out of box only users with the ITL role can have tasks assigned to them. Okay. So this is about ITL. Generally, uh, within the ITS modules like incident management, problem management, change management, knowledge management, service request. Okay. Except delete operation, they can do everything. Except delete operation, they can do everything. Okay. Next, ITIL admin role. So, ITIL admin role also do the same activities as ITIL person. Okay. The extra work he will do is he is able to delete the records. Okay. He is able to delete the records. Generally, uh, in our organization, if we have five members team if we have five members team so generally for team lead we'll assign that itl admin role for other teammates other team members will assign the itl role got it everybody yes yes okay fine perfect and you can say i just mentioned what are the models in it incident management Problem management, change management, knowledge management, service catalog and request fulfillment, configuration management, and asset management. So in our class, the most important models are instant management, change management, knowledge management. And th these three are most important, instant, change, knowledge. Then after, uh, I can say service catalog and request fulfillment. Okay, these are the most important models. Okay. And so in our classes, we are going to cover about uh, incident, problem, change, knowledge, service catalog. And for the configuration management and asset management, we're just learning the definitions. Okay. And so basically, this configuration management and asset management involves with ITA module. Okay. Next, I just mentioned uh, some YouTube video links here. Uh, for the incident problem change okay maybe you can go through these youtube videos and you can try to understand the process of incident management problem management change management okay so like if we listen uh, this youtube video for one one time you may not understand okay for two times you may not understand so you can try to listen three to five times then you will get to know the exact process Okay, so we'll see whether this YouTube channels are working fine or not. Links. Yes, this is working fine. Yeah, yeah as of now, incident is fine. Okay, you can look into this incident management. Next. So this is about ITSM. Any queries within this ITSM, please let me know. We will discuss for one or two minutes. Then after, I will go with the incident management. I'm so confused about the ITSM and ITL like it has and how they relate. I still, I'm still confused. Kind of. Okay. So whatever the concepts we are using within the ITSM, like incident management, problem management, change management, knowledge management, service request or fulf request fulfillment management. So all these concepts are, we are taken from the ITIL module, ITIL. Got it? Okay. Victoria, Victoria so what he's trying to explain is all the processes in high TSM was derived from ITIL. Exactly, ITIL. exactly. Yes, it is derived from the ITIL. Okay. And this ITIL is kind of standards or we can say guidelines to all types of industries for all domains. Okay, got it. So we, we, we made a ITIL for 
guidelines organizational guidelines okay for every industry it may be traveling it may be beverages textile oil gas it like whatever the types different type, electrical what are the different types of industries we have based upon all types of industries so we have itil guidelines okay so every industry will follow the itil guidelines okay so generally gen, by generally if we are working in one organization so within that organization every employee need itil certification basically generally we are not following that but everybody required itil certification okay even i also have itil v3 certification now present version is itil v4 okay and so basically this itil is a different concept and uh, it contains all the procedures uh, it contains all the procedures if anybody interested uh, you may uh, take this itil course separately and you can do the certified okay for service now it is not mandatory as of now okay for service now, it's not mandatory to learn as of now but some organizations will follow uh maybe i work for four organizations even in four organizations not followed but i hear it so we need itl if we have itl certification it should be additional benefit okay any queries other than this yes sir. i think i understand now mm -hmm. okay thank you so i'm closing this ideas in part then we can go with IT incident management. Okay. Yeah. For theory part, I already prepared the documents. Okay. From tables concept onwards. In syllabus from table concept onwards, uh, we'll discuss practical things in the class. Okay. This is theory part, and we'll see the some examples within the instance. Yes. incident management okay incident incident is an unplanned interruption to the it service or reduction in quality of it service or failure of a ca that has not yet impacted on it service okay so basically this i uh, in uh, this itsm definitions i bring from the itl okay like in interviews, if somebody asks you what is incident, what is problem, you have to say the definitions as it is, okay, which you found in the notes, okay. Incident is an unplanned interruption to the IT service or reduction in quality of IT service or failure of a CA that has not that impacted on IT service, okay. This is the incident definition, you can see. Incident is an unplanned interruption to the it service that means without any proper planning if we get some issue we are calling as incident so generally issues will not get with the plan right suddenly we will get some issue that we are calling as incident okay so for example uh, for example uh, today uh, today i am planning to connect the service now training meeting Okay. but i have a little bit internet issue that is an issue that we are calling as incident that we are calling as incident okay and and i will also tell you the few more examples so recently i have purchased the laptop okay recently i have purchased the laptop uh it's real me laptop so in that laptop the speakers are having very low voice, I can say. Uh, speakers uh, giving the very low voice. It's not expected as seen uh, in the feedback okay, for that laptop. We can consider this is an issue. Reduction in quality of IT service. Th this we are calling as reduction in quality of IT service. So you can see. So I have purchased a laptop. When I see the feedback for that laptop, uh, they specified uh, uh, the speaker's voice is some decimal. 
but in reality it is very low there is no quality in that okay we are saying reduction in quality of iit service reduction in quality of iit service okay next next example okay next example so you are doing uh, some certification exam you are doing some certification exam exam suddenly you lo you lost the power suddenly you lost the power but in your home you are maintaining the inverter in home you are maintaining the inverter yes there is a power cut issue but you are not impacted because you are maintaining the inverter we can say this is an incident even even you are not impacted with this issue still it is an incident okay you can say failure of a ca that has not yet impacted an it service failure of a ca that has not yet impacted an it service uh, maybe for this i will tell you another example okay for this maybe i will tell you another example maybe so we 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 all are one team we all are one team in the organization okay maybe today uh Shatish want to forward some important mail to the customer Satish want to send some important mail to the customer okay unfortunately Satish not able to log in into his outlook mail Satish not able to log in into his, his outlook mail simply what he did he come to the maybe he come to Aziz and he asked Satish asked Aziz to send an email to the customer on behalf of him. Okay. So here you can see only Shati is impacted. Only Shati is impacted because his outlook is he is not able to log into the outlook. But this work can be done by Aziz. There is no impact to the customer. There is no impact to the customer. Still, it is an incident. Got it? This example, everybody. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Yes. So here I am saying CA. What is CA means? CA stands for configuration item. CA stands for configuration item. CA stands for configuration item. Okay. So configuration item means anything which is involving in our IT services we are calling as a CA. For example, we are working in one project. So we are using desktops, laptops, keyboards, mouse, and printers, scanners, projectors, desktop. Okay, we, uh, we are using different softwares. All these we are calling as a configuration items. Okay. Laptop is one configuration item, desktop is one configuration item if you are using microsoft office so that is one configuration like that everything should be calling by configuration item okay yes so what is incident management so incident management always tells us if we get any issue if we get an issue we have to resolve as soon as possible as quickly as possible okay Yes, we can see the definition of incident management. Incident management is process responsible for managing life cycle of all incidents. Incident management is process responsible for managing life cycle of all incidents. The purpose of incident management is to restore the normal service operations as quickly as possible and minimize the impact on the business operations does ensure that agreed level of service quality is maintained agreed level of service quality is maintained incident management is process responsible for managing life cycle of all incidents so basically incident management will take care of overall incident management okay the purpose of incident management is to restore the normal services 
as quickly as possible. So if we get uh, any issue, we have to resolve that particular issue as soon as possible. And we have to minimize the impact on the business operations. We have to, we have to minimize the impact on the business operations. Okay. So if we get uh, some sudden issue, if we get some sudden issue, okay, we have to resolve the, that particular issue as soon as possible. And always we have to try for minimum impact, minimum impact on the business operations. There is no huge impact. Okay. We have to try for minimum impact. If we get some issue. Okay. So it should be like minimum impact only. Okay, it should be like minimum impact only. Okay, we have to take care of business operations. We have to take care of business operations. If there is any impact on the business, we have to try for the minimum impact only. Okay, if we are maintaining all these things, then okay, the agreed level of service quality is maintained. Whatever the service quality we have promised to the customer we can able to provide that quality of products or services to the customer. Okay. This is the instant management definition. If you have any queries, please let me know. If you have any queries. Sir, once again, <laughs> sir, once again, instant management. Sir. Okay. Instant management. Yeah, yeah. Incident management is process responsible for managing life cycle of all incidents. Okay. Basically, incident management will take care of overall incident management process. The purpose of incident management is to restore the normal service operations as quickly as possible. Okay. If we get any issue suddenly, we have to resolve that issue as soon as possible. Okay, we have to resolve that issue as soon as possible. Okay. Got it this point? Yes, sir. Okay. And so based upon the issue we got, is there any impact to our business? We have to minimize the impact on the business operation. We have to minimize the impact on the business operations does ensure that agreed level of service quality is maintained so whenever we get issue we have to resolve that particular issue as soon as possible and if there any impact on the business we have to try for minimum impact on the business operations so that we can able to provide agreed level of service agreed level of service quality to the customer whatever the quality of services we have promised for the customer we can able to provide that okay got it next incident table name is incident so in service now everything will be stored in tables okay so this tables you may understand while discussing about tables concept. Okay, as of now, you can just note the table name for incident. Incident table name is incident. Incident table was extended from the task table. Here task table is a parent table. Incident table is a child table. Okay. In interviews, they will ask one question. What is the parent table for incident problem and change? You have to answer like task table is a parent table for incident problem and change okay next we have incident task table also incident task table name is incident underscore task and it is extended from the task table even incident task table also extended from the task table here we got three tables one is incident one is task and then last one is incident underscore task three tables involving here okay next you can see who are the persons involving here who are the persons involving in the incident management process same who are the persons involving in itsm who are the persons involving in incident management everything will be same but here the con naming conventions are different 
you can say caller submit incident request caller submits incident request caller means end user caller means end user for example for example today uh, while joining the class i got some network issue so immediately i will raise an incident within the organization okay I, here i am the caller whoever affected whoever affected with some issue that person is the caller whoever affected with some issue that person is a caller okay next service desk agent level one support and primary point of contact with end users okay level one support and primary point of contact with end users so generally if we get any issues if we get any issues we'll call to the customer care we'll call to the customer care okay so customer care people uh, left our call and they will uh, they will take all the details from us uh, regarding that issue and if you are asking something more deeper immediately they will say uh, i will connect this call to my management or my technical support team like that they will say okay here service desk agents are the l1 support teams and so they just they don't know the technical things generally they don't know the technical things okay and uh, they will try to resolve our issue based upon the existing incidents resolved based up based upon the knowledge basis based upon the knowledge articles by seeing the knowledge articles they are trying to resolve our issue they are not able to resolve these kind of incidents they will transfer that call or the ticket to it support teams so basically it support teams have are the second and third level support and subject matters expert in one or more technologies okay so this it support teams are the expertise in particular technology for example we are we are all the developers service now developers i can say we are the it support team if any service now related issue comes to us definitely we are going to resolve that okay and maybe somebody somebody joined in our organization as a fresher we can consider they are the l1 support teams okay got it these three users got it everybody their responsibilities as is victoria jaya rinwas yes um yeah perfect next incident admin incident admin incident admin configures specific elements of the process within the service now okay so basically incident admin will configure the incident management process okay uh, so basically if something we need to add new functionality within the existing process it it can be taken care by the incident admin okay if you want to change the functionality of incident management incident admin will take care okay like configuring kind of things will be take care by the incident admin okay process owner will take care of overall incident management okay 